Good morning, folks. Several key items to hit today. There was a small sun dive and comet. We'll look at a big earthquake. More on how they don't know Nova and see an excellent paper on galactic magnetic fields. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We've taken several M-class solar flares this morning, but they're not coming from where we expected. The coronal hole is crossing central longitudes and sets its enhanced solar wind in Earth's direction. Let's peek in on the key aspects of the last day of space weather, starting with that sun dive and comet. This little guy came in from the south and appears to have disintegrated on approach, the last run of the space rock. We had mentioned the solar flares from unexpected places. Folks, the incoming spots near the limb aren't nearly as big as most thought they would be, but that big central active region is growing quickly now. It has gained magnetic complexity in the center. You see where the blue and red aren't so separated in the middle. That's a beta gamma spot developing delta class magnetism, and it is where the M-class flares are erupting. So far, mostly impulsive without significant CME production, but it has quickly stolen the top spot in our solar watch as it directly faces Earth today. Quick jump to seismicity. 6.7 struck south of Africa. It's a fairly big shake, and luckily it's well out to sea without relevant threat to populations. It's a benign pressure release. First article today hits the fact that NOVA models keep failing. We've hit dozens of these studies over the years, including one just yesterday, and today we hit another. More and more, our claim that something else is going on with NOVA events appears likely. Last but not least, tracing the galactic current sheet and magnetic field spiral into the inner core of the galaxy and central Taurus. This identification may seem simple and even trivial, but it's the same we see with the Sun and with every spinning sphere magnet and outflowing magnetic field. There is a polar component wrapping around and from the central Taurus, the spiral emanates outward, doing so with undulations as well, forming the wavy, rippling current sheet. At that galactic level, it brings the whole system magnetic reversal point. It's what's causing the ongoing magnetic shift in our solar system and is the recurring harbinger of the disaster cycle, which will obviously be one of the things included in our documentary. You guys have been fantastic with this Kickstarter campaign. We are guaranteed to have that full control and can deliver some of those special models and visualizations we've discussed. I'd say we can tackle about half my wish list right now. So let's keep going. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.